Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, gold trading above, above 1700 We think you should add 10 or 15% to your positions immediately in the gold area. Uh, gold is now trading on this basis because of the Federal Reserve's acknowledgement of something that was long suspected that there will be no change in interest rates going forward for the next couple of years. Now the significance of this is that come heck or high water, the Federal Reserve is going to print enough money to make sure they're going to release enough reverse repos, they're going to do whatever they feel like to make sure that there's no problem in the United States economy uh, on the same basis that's going on around the world. So the United States will continue to prosper, but as we indicated the other day, if we calculated inflation the same way they did before 1980, the inflation rate would presently be 11.3% as opposed to the 4% or whatever this government says it is. And the significance of this is that as the government prints more money, the specter of inflation will rise. This means gold is going to do great things. This year, gold is going to be up $800 like it was over the preceding year. That means gold's going to be trading around 2400 The train is getting ready to leave the station. Add to your gold positions, add to your uh, ETFs, uh, add to those things that keep you in the precious metal line. Secondly, today, we'll have a new report coming out on rare earths early next week. Uh, please keep checking on our website, waterscapital.com, to receive copies of that new report as particular reviews of some preferred stocks in the mining and uh, rare earth area as well. Lastly, we kind of mentioned this yesterday and we tweeted about it yesterday. We're beginning to be increasingly struck by the parallels between Vladimir Putin and Jacob Zuma. Zuma, of course, is the president of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, the Republic of South Africa, in our opinion, is in grave danger of slipping back down the slippery slope into fascism. The uh, leader of the ANC, like Vladimir Putin, uh, uh, is unhappy with things in the press and things that the, some of the groups that seek to be totally free uh, are wish to do, and as a consequence, they've already begun a crackdown. I think there is zero commitment from the form of former head of the ANC secret police, namely Zuma, uh, to democratic institutions. His son has already been caught up in a big mineral scandal, big mining scandal, and uh, we expect that there's a great danger. Now, the reason we mention this danger is that the ANC has structurally failed to fulfill the needs of its uh, principal members, uh, who are black people. Now, the black, <laughs> the black guys who have come to power uh, ex since Mel Nelson Mandela departed the polit active political scene, um, have behaved exactly like white guys. They have come in and looted and pillaged. They've created situations that benefit them and their cronies. This has the deleterious effect of not changing in any material way the circumstance of the average ANC supporter. So when you see 5,000 people on strike and Impala Platinum, and you see other efforts like nationalizing gold mines going on in South Africa, taken together with the recent restrictions on press freedom and freedom of speech, we begin to be concerned that the ANC is going down the reverse way, which of course will lead to political instability and strife, uh, much like we, will, we have seen in the so-called Arab Spring, except that in, in South Africa, the democratically elected government, like the Venezuelan quote-unquote democratically elected government, seems to us to be moving in the direction of uh, fascism and dictatorship. Uh, remember, of course, that People don't like to talk about this now, but many of the ANC original founders and inner circle were hardcore Stalinist communists, hardcore Stalinist communists throughout the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, and some of those folk are still around. Now, being a communist doesn't make you a bad person, but it makes us very suspect of your commitment to freedom of speech and freedom of expression and press freedom. So keep that uh, in your uh, keep that comment in mind as you're viewing 
the dangers of mining and expropriation of mines uh, in sub-Saharan Africa. They may well kill the golden goose. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a super day. Thanks.